welcome to this episode of Celebrity Homes and Cribs. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. My name is Bujabs Dennis and today I'm going to be showing you where I stay. I moved out recently. I've stayed at my place for like a month or two. I did a couple of videos of that moving out process. So if you haven't watched that, uh, part one to three, I'll link them down in the description. But this is the last part. This is where I stay, the place I rented out. And I'm going to be showing you that place right now so let's roll the intro right now this is the corridor i was talking about huh? And right here is my door, okay? So let me show you the corridor. All right, so that's the corridor that leads to the house. Uh, this is the uh, entrance and we're just about to go in. I just have to mention that uh, there are certain things that are outside, like the tap where I collect water and my bathroom and the washroom. I'll show you that later on, but right now, Welcome in. Welcome to the digs. So this is the crib and uh, immediately you get in, there's a seat that I put here, a two-seater. It's an old seat that I got from, uh, I won't bother you with all the details, but that's there. And then also close to the door, I have a few uh, utilities, uh, I call them, uh, jerry cans for collecting water. Uh, I have got a basin that I store a few utensils, I like to put them on on top of those jerry cans so that's that that's there and as you come further into the house uh, I've got uh, a rug I like it it's an ugly rug but I like it I put it <laughs> I put it down there and then of course I have a TV stand right here and uh, uh, my subwoofer you know I'm a musical person I listen to a lot of music so that was very important for me to have and then I've got my TV here. I got it a long time ago. I think I've had it for two years now. So that's the uh, entertainment stuff. And then the paint job is one of the worst I've ever seen. But when you're renting a place, the house doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the landlord. And he did this green or blue, blue paint job on the wall. And um, well, yeah, right now that's, that's, that's my lot. That's what I've got to deal with. So I don't know, maybe in future I'll get a wallpaper for the wall, but then again, maybe I'll just move out. And then I've hung up this <laughs> subscribe to Bujabs Dennis on YouTube. This is a placard that I used for a campaign some months back. I made a video about that actually, and I'll attach that. You can cl click here and you can go watch that video. I did a campaign. Uh, for subscribers in the CBD of Nairobi for about three days. There's a lot of drama. You can go watch that video and then of course I also have this Dare to Dream. It's a piece of cloth that I had uh, printed. It reminds me to keep on putting in the work. Eh? Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on putting in the work and um, things will turn out okay. That is to remind me that I've got a YouTube channel and I've got to keep working at growing it. And that is to remind me to keep dreaming. Let me just show you the cooking area. So I've got this uh, 6 kg gas cooker here that I used to cook. And then I've got that right there. I don't know what to call that, but that is, um, I use that to store my utensils. And the top part, I used to keep food items. So this is a, uh, Maize meal, some flour, uh, some bread left over. This is uh, this is the tea leaves that I'm using right now, and then I've got sugar here, and I've got salt here as well. I've got this is uh, onions that remain from yesterday's cooking, and then uh, I had some strong tea. We call it strong tea. Tea leaves and water. There's no milk in it. I had that in the morning, so that's still there. Then uh, this basin, I use it for washing, uh, washing my utensils. Then like I said, when you come through the door, I have some jerry cans here, on top of which I like to keep utensils that I've just washed. So together with my seat right there, 
uh, my entertainment right there as well as those uh, uh, things hanged on the wall and the kitchen area that forms my I like to call it the living area right the sitting room and the kitchen together in one a double room so as you can see there's another room right through here and this is the bedroom so I'm gonna be taking you into the bedroom and we can check it out the lighting situation in the bedroom is not as good as the sitting room but I'll try my best to show you guys what's going on in this place this right here is my bed let's just come through from the living area so as we come through I put the bed right there I've got a window here and I've got a sheet. I haven't bought uh, a curtain for that window yet. It's bringing in a lot of light, so let me put that like this. So next to the bed, there's a window. Then I've got my shoes right here. I keep my clothes here. I've got my guitar here. I'm still learning how to play. I've got toiletries here and uh, these bags. The other, the wall, I keep my dirty clothes there. And this one is keeping a few non-essentials. All right, so now that you've seen the living area and the bedroom, what remains is uh, my bathroom as well as uh, where I collect water. So that's outside, so let's head out. I'll show you that and then we can wrap this up. All right, so we are outside. So uh, as you come from the corridor leading up to the door, if you don't enter the house, you can come all this way out here and what we have here is the tap. So this is where I do my... Whenever water comes. Yeah, so like today there's water, so that's where I collect water. And then uh, I've got my bathroom back here. Yeah, so uh, I think it's spacious enough. So that's the space that's out here. So I think we are done with that area. So that's how a nigga lives. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me, right? As always, it's been a pleasure. Um, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the notification icon so that you're notified every time I put up new content. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you on the next.